Welcome to this Inkscape tutorial on the Rectangle and Square tool. The Rectangle and Square tool is one of the most widely used tools in Inkscape. The shortcut key to access that is F4. Okay, so let's go ahead and create some rectangles here. And as you can see, this has elliptical corners because Inkscape remembers the last shape you made. So if I make more of these, that's what you'll get. Now, if I go ahead and sharpen the corners and make it back into a rectangle, click onto another tool, and then go back to the rectangle tool, you can see I get rectangles now. So again, we'll remember the shape that you last made, and that can be very useful if you're creating multiple shapes of the same type. If we hold down the shift key, the rectangle will expand from the center. If we hold down the control key, we will create squares. Now let's go ahead and hit the edit paths by nodes tool over here. And let's pull down this first node on the right and this will allow you to create a rectangle with circular corners. Now if we go up to this other node and start pulling this left, you can create elliptical corners. And to get back to the rectangle, you just select this up here and that will get you back to the original rectangle. Now you can be more accurate by adjusting the values up here. The RX and the RY affect the corners. So if we start changing this value, you can see we can make it circular and the same over here. You can also be more specific with the width. You can give specific width amounts. So you can see we're decreasing the width here. So again, that allows you to be highly specific. You can also change the unit of measurement if you want. So if you wanted to switch this to uh, centimeters, you could do that. Now you can quickly change the color down here. If you want to switch this to red or yellow, dark green, or you can go up to Object, hit Fill and Stroke, and you can do that here. Now, if you want to add a border, you just have to increase the border size. And there you can see we're getting a border. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please check out my other Inkscape tutorials on my YouTube channel.